When you drop your child at a daycare, you expect they get a play, maybe eat a snack, but get a wax? That's what one mom is claiming happened when she picked up her two-year-old daughter from a daycare facility, discovered her daughter had some red between her mm. brows. Mm. The mom was upset, posted her story on social media, hoping to get to the bottom of what happened, and the mom claims the toddler's eyebrows were waxed without her permission. Mm -mm. Well, I mean, look at that oh, before my. picture. Wow. Yeah, it was cute. It, it was, was age cute. appropriate. Cute. It is. Age, I mean, age, that at, at any time, like if that's you know. Yeah, a little yeah. Frida Kahlo. It's all right. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Incidentally, yeah. the daycare, <laughs> the daycare said they did an investigation, claimed um, or denied, I should say, any wrongdoing. But mm. I'm not. I'm not sure how. Something happened. Yeah, something happened there yeah. at some point in time, and clearly it looks like well, there very well could have yeah. been some wax. Definitely done. some hair gone in between the goalposts there. It's right. Yeah, absolutely. And it looks like she went to the police, the directors of the daycare, child protective services, and the state department of early learning. She says no one took her seriously. In fact. Sometimes people laughed at her when she went. Right. Why would I would be man, man, man. Because they're practicing. Why? Somebody Why wants to be an esthetician or they they Or they have some judgment about the fact that well, she's a little fuzzy. I think they have like a obsession I, with fuzzy something. kids or something and they want to I mean, and let me tell you. Now, I think this mother handled it very well. She went to all the appropriate people and I don't support violence, but I tell you what, she is gonna wax the wrong child one day, or he or whomever waxed it, and dot, 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 like. Well. I wonder, is there maybe a trend? Hmm. Because we have made things like grooming so common that, that maybe some people think it's just no big deal. And anyone who's ever had any part of their body waxed, I've done it for fun on the show a little earlier, it, it's not comfortable. <laughs> no, it's oh, not. Oh, no, you don't have to, yeah, no, it's you, not. I mean, it's not a fun thing. <laughs> I mean, they're off, but maybe the intent, they felt like they were doing the right thing, like Look. this was a... They were A grooming yeah. move, helping... They were wrong. So th this is the wrong. thing, they were wrong, and you don't touch other people's kids. Right. Like Right, without consent, without and then, I mean, who knows what happened, but I do think that there is something disturbing even about adults trying to put their own beauty routines on their children. It's just yeah. not appropriate either. Yeah, I mean, waxing a... Two-year-old. A two-year-old like on. that? They're not gonna give you consent. No, no. Could that be traumatizing? Yes. yes. To the kid, I mean, like... And sending the right hurts, and it sends the wrong message, and... Absolutely. Like, there's something wrong with you? Yeah, Why you're you not beautiful. hurt me, mommy? Right, Yeah. exactly. Well, I, th I think the takeaway here is that when you drop your child off, you should have faith that they're not going to do anything to your child that you haven't already approved of. Exactly. Who knows what happened is here? It, I don't. You know, brother? I don't oh, think so, Drew. Okay. Yeah. I guess that's a little shadowing. I was going to say we could take Drew, a bit. The amount of time <laughs> trying to keep up with you in these ten years, the amount, the amount of grooming that I do now. I'm in there every, every day, oh, there's a little nasal hair. Drew will not approve. I'm, I mean, I'm all yeah. over Drew. Look at this guy's ear hairs, everything. I mean, oh, yeah. There, you made it, him so it's, hyper it's a lot of work. <laughs> God, he looks so good, he could be the bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we started talking about grooming and, and obviously not subjecting your children to the same grooming habits we may all engage in. But one thing I will say very quickly is, as you age, the one thing I have learned is grooming is more important because at least for men, I don't know how it is for women, but hairs just start growing. Like it, I was looking in the mirror the other day and, and I thought I saw a hair growing out of my ear. I was like, no, that's not possible. Hair doesn't grow out of, and I looked, and it was, and it, it was like an in, it was it was a big hair. I didn't even know there were hair follicles in that place. Anyway, that's quick aside.